Hello my friends, it's Christina Lindzen. I hope that you are having a blessed and beautiful day. I've been asked a lot about how to um, strengthen the core body um, without really having to get down and do sit-ups and crunches and all that kind of stuff. And you know, the great news is, is there are all kinds of things that we can do to constantly strengthen and elongate and lengthen the rectus abdominis and the oblique muscles. <clears throat> One thing I tell people a lot is look at how you sit. Most of us sit like this. See how I'm curved over? As of today, please stop. Bring your shoulders over your hips and notice how that lifts my side body up. Just doing that. But that is hard for a body that the abdominals are not as strong, right? So I'm here today to help you find some ways to be able to get to a taller seated position. I have a block, it's a cork block. Cork blocks are not always comfortable to sit on, but they help. So I'm gonna place my cork block back here. I'm gonna place my bottom on the block. Notice how that sits me up high, nice and tall. My sits bones are sinking in and I do feel that. So that is one option. But other options are, <clears throat> you can take a blanket and you can sit on the edge of a blanket. The goal is to get your hips elevated so that when you do sit up you're not having to work so hard to sit there if that's not quite tall enough you can take another blanket you can leave it folded just like the pack the other one we put in the previous blanket but just notice how this changes the height of my hips. It changes the height of the hips in relation to my knees. And it allows me to sit up instead of here. It encourages me to sit up. So, challenges. I would suggest that you learn to sit with one leg crossed in front of the other and then switch that cross. There's gonna be a change in the hips. There's gonna be a change in the elevation of the side body. But get used to this. Start playing with how you sit. And if this doesn't feel high enough, you can also take your blankets and fold them again. There's all kinds of options out there and I will tell you some days I change how I sit and it challenges different areas of my body so for the next minute or so I'm going to ask you to find yourself a comfortable seat take an inhale in and hold shoulders are over your hips right sigh it out cleansing breath. Inhale in and hold. Sigh it out. Let it go. Close your eyes. <clears throat> Just be here. Inhale through your nose smoothly. Exhale through your nose smoothly. See your core body as getting stronger because you're using it. You're having to build from the lowest Pelvis ear, pelvic area of the abdominals all the way up. Sit up nice and tall. Feel how this elevates your sternum and it encourages you to sit up nice and tall. Be here with your breath. Pay attention to how this fatigues your side body, your back body, your core body. That's okay. That means it's starting to strengthen. Use it. We change what we can change. We accept that what we cannot.
five minutes of Zen is already up. I hope that this has opened up some ideas and some thoughts in your head. If you would like to work together to build yourself a toolbox and start strengthening your core body from the front to the back and all the way out to the sides, hit me with an email, christinalynn.zen at gmail.com. There is so much hope, my friend, in all aspects, heart, mind, body, and spirit of life. And as I always like to tell people, don't ever forget you're loved and don't ever forget, don't ever miss a moment to make it count. Love you. Bye-bye.